just kind of to, to wrap into this next question, since we're talking about Malone's, it asks the difference between um, Peristine versus a Malone. So um, just to kind of clarify that, I probably wasn't very clear um, before. The Peristine, um, this, like I was showing before, this is the catheter tips, and this is a non-surgical way to potentially become independent with enema care. Um, th this is the bag that the enema solution goes to. The tubing still connects to the end of these catheters, but these are still rectal enema administration. Um, the difference is that in, uh, the hand devices are in front of you, so you could potentially put this in your rectum, and then everything else is in front of you as far as the dials and things that you need to use to inflate the balloon, to um, pump the solution through, but it is still a rectal enema um, administration set. Whereas a Malone, as we talked about, is a surgical option, does require surgery, and that opening then comes out to the belly button um, to access the belly button. So um, both is for independence, but one is a surgical option and one is a non-surgical way of being independent. We have some, some teenagers with spina bifida who do the peristine every day and they don't need or want access through their abdominal wall, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing better about one or the other, but you could have the same aged patient with the same spina bifida, um, the same type of spina bifida, and that other patient might really like the idea of not using a, a rectal enema. So they are all options just to really accomplish the same goal.